something about playing music live that brings out the inner kid in me. It's like transporting me back to when I was 10 years old and first learning how to play guitar. And I'm so happy and thankful to still be playing live and doing that. <laughs> up for the Beach Boys was one of my favorite experiences. Giving a compliment from Bruce Johnston about my singing afterwards is a really touching thing. It's just another thing that reminds you why you do this. getting gigs at both Summerfest, the world's largest music festival, and opening for Lennon and Maisie for the Special Olympics at Mall of America. I can't help it, I got stars in my eyes. Can't help thinking how you love me again. Oh, I know we've seen some lows and some highs. I know we're better now than we were then. Being invited to perform on TV, whether it's Solo. Say hello to Ian Ash, lead singer for Ian and the Dream. Or as a band. Here at Fox 6. Oh, thanks for being here, you guys. Absolutely. Okay. So how is it, Ian, that you keep this a dream and not a nightmare? <laughs> and the Dream. Brian, these guys are great. That's right. They've only played like a couple tracks just the beginning of those songs, and they've everybody's fallen in love with them here in the studio, and so will you guys. It's always a fun time answering the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I love post article about you kind of mm -hmm. like a little bit of sage advice i think but really fun too Thanks. one of the things you say is be the master of your own image don't let others define it for you and i think that's huge whether you're a rock star a music person or, or whatever you do Love playing festivals. Being like sex and magic tonight. Tonight. Being like sex and magic tonight. Tonight. Being like sex and magic. Once you come back next year, or like, sure, or you want a headline next year? Oh, yeah, even better. Cool. <laughs> It's special to get that hometown recognition and being asked to sing the national anthem at the Milwaukee Brewers game. As we honor America with our national anthem, led this afternoon by Ian Hatch, lead singer from the band Ian and the Dream. Never know who's going to be at a show sometimes. One day you're playing downtown Waukesha, birthplace of Les Paul and electric guitar, and we're all of rock and roll kind of started in a way. All of a sudden, this nice lady comes up to me after the show and says, Oh, you guys are awesome. Les Paul would have loved you. I was like, Well, that's cool, thanks, but how could you say that with such authority, you know? And She's like, well, Les Paul is one of my best friends. And hi, I'm Sue Baker from the Les Paul Foundation. Nice to meet you. And then you just become friends with this great foundation. And next thing you know, you're being introduced to Robert Cutterella, who's produced Les Paul's last record and another Grammy award-winning producer. Just another person who believes in the dream and is helping us take our sound and our journey to new places. Well, maybe. Now it's your turn, girl, I know that you've learned so well 
Take it and run, have a little of fun. I know I'll always be performing no matter what. I really can't picture myself doing anything else other than writing music, recording, and touring. There's nothing I'd rather be doing. Keeps me running.